Good morning. Okay. I was thinking about doing a cards of the day, but maybe we'll just pull a couple cards and do a quick ascension check. Today is September 13th. So it is Lord Lord Ganesh Day. <laughs> Don't ask me what that means. I've recently started uh, <laughs> getting in touch with other uh, other people who are ascending and checking out what their beliefs are and I don't that's that's not part of my study but um, I probably will incorporate some of the information from that don't even ask me what it's called I can't remember I've got brain fog <laughs> I actually went home sick yesterday because uh, <coughs> I must have been like fighting a cold <laughs> I've been like I've been drinking all the tang in the house and I normally, I don't even drink tang. <laughs> and my boyfriend looked at me and he was like, why are you drinking tang? And I'm like, I don't know. It's just really good right now. But obviously I needed it because I've been exhausted for days. And yesterday I felt like I was run over by a truck. And the messed up thing about that was is I had um, bitters in my mouth, which is a sign of nausea. And it, was, it wasn't going away. Um, I ended up going home. I kind of had a headache. I had upset, upset stomach a couple days before that. So, but I'm not sick. <laughs> My body's been fighting it. Or this could be part of the ascension process, which I've been reading online that there's uh, quite a bit of people experiencing the same thing as me. So here I am back at work again today. But I, I still have the bitters. However, I, I don't feel like I was run over by a truck anymore. Maybe just run over by a bicycle. <laughs> um, still tired, but I was fortunate enough to get eight hours of sleep uh, the entire night, which I'm pretty sure you probably couldn't awaken me up anyway. So, all right, well, here we go. Cards of the day, ascension check for all signs. Oh, oh, yeah. All right, you know what? They drop. I'm going to take them. And do I have my deck upside down? No. I don't have my deck upside down. So anyways, look, justice. The truth will come out. <laughs> okay, well, we have the emperor, the queen of swords, and the four of wands. Um, oh, boy. So you're not really achieving anything right now. <laughs> you're not getting a lot. You're not getting anything done. <laughs> Um, also too, you're not feeling very independent. It's like you're kind of trapped right now. Um, your energies are spread really thin and that has a lot to do with the new moon in Virgo. But also here, it's usually when it's the other way, it's about standing in your feminine power and asserting your boundaries. And that's not happening right now. Uh, you're also not manifesting <laughs> and like I was saying, the new moon in Virgo, it's almost like you've got too much stuff on your plate and these are things that you have to do. It's like you're taking on double the load, but you have to, you are needed. And this is kind of distracting you, but it's just a little detour. Um, don't worry, it'll get better. <laughs> Let's see. And you're not feeling very independent right now. So to me, this is you are needing to help somebody they need your help and you do it anyway because that's just just part of um that's just part of who you are <laughs> you love and you don't expect anything back from it so whatever somebody needs you'll do it and do it with compassion at this time um there's just there's no other way one more card that's the last one I'm going to take from this deck. Oh, we got two of them. Nice. <laughs> you're very determined. And uh, even though you're kind of beat up, you're still going to keep going because you know you have to. <laughs> There's nothing else you can do. There is no one else that can do. It's all up to you, baby. But, okay, and this looks like it's your 
partner or your love interest that you're helping you're helping because we also have the ace of hearts the ace of hearts is new beginnings in love relationships or a rekindling of love from somebody somebody you've known before okay so whatever is going on right now you're helping your partner and it's no biggie you're doing it because you love them and because you love and you love without expectations go on with your bad self let's see what the healing deck has to say okay now i think i explained to you guys this before this one is from the parrot deck no i didn't say parrot dick i said the parrot deck and this one has four extra cards to honor chiron which has been uh, instrumental in the ascension process because it is in here in in Aries. <laughs> it's in Aries. So this is a uh, we are being prompted to discover who we truly are, to identify our core wounds and heal them. And all the transits that have been happening since 2016 have allowed us to make a lot of discoveries about ourselves, about people, about our daily lives, about who we are, what we stand for. September 15th, we're finished. Okay. September 15th, we're finished. Okay. Hey, the wind is blowing them back. Is the deck seems really uh oh I'm beating my cards up boy it really wanted me to crunch that card up <laughs> okay so that's totally symbolistic and I'll show you which card it is in a second let me make sure that I got all the cards from this uh oh wow they're popping out today okay we're gonna just take those for now so the first card the Sun um, the sun can mean several different things. And then this one. And then these two, they popped up upside down. First of all, the sun represents uh, nurturing, nurturing creativity and growth, energy, vitality. But here, um, it's a draining energy. And that's when there is either too much or not enough focused on something or something is weighing on you to the point where it's making you feel drained as if you've been out in the sun too long okay the card that i crunched up <laughs> on accident and you see it's all bent here this is the seven of pentacles this is frustration um this is telling me curb your frustration what whatever's occurring um while you're carrying the load this frustration here is in reference to carrying the load but you cannot lose your shit because this is something that's necessary this is something that has to be done you cannot be angry for having to show love okay it, it's serving serving because you love somebody okay you're being of service this is what we're supposed to do this is also um what virgos do is that compassionate care for someone being of service and you know, there's a huge Virgo reference here, although there's not a lot of Earth cards here coming out. Um, I definitely recognize that energy of being of service, and this is most likely because somebody is down physically, or there's some kind of sickness or illness or incapacitation at this moment, which is uh, allowing you to step up and be of service to this person, person okay? With kindness and compassion, please. <laughs> Don't grumble. Um, this is what partners do, right? You back each other up. When one is down, you cover, okay? And I would say you should expect the same from the other person. That is what's supposed to happen in a relationship, but that's not necessarily so. When you give through love, you have to give without expectation of receiving back. So if something like this happens to you, your partner should cover you, but if they don't, you can't attach yourself to that. That's all I'm saying is no attachments, okay? No attachments, no expectations. 
you just got to do what you got to do because you are who you are and you are love right that's why we're here we're here to promote love and we're here to love everyone okay um I'm not saying you got to go love up on everyone i'm just saying you have to have a general reverence for humanity and life in general okay so be kind and be compassionate nine of swords oh boy okay nine of swords represents nightmare um somebody is not happy that they're helpless at the moment okay so they could be fucking with you and and treating you badly but this is because they feel helpless and god it, it it's definitely frustrating when we're feeling helpless and can't do anything and then yet we have have to sit there and watch somebody else service us and so therefore there's a projection um of the frustrations onto you you might get called names you might be told you're not doing enough uh put your shield up that doesn't matter you you're doing you're helping and you're doing because that's who you are okay and what this person says to you it's not reflective of who they are it's just this is their feelings that they don't know how to express so therefore it comes out um targeting you it's a projection towards you and it's all because they're feeling helpless right now because of some kind of incapacitation and that's okay shit happens right shit always happens <laughs> Okay, then we have the Ten of Swords. There's somebody here um, that's feeling a little bit depressed. Let me move my cards out of the way. Somebody is feeling down and depressed or in that, it's like a, a drone kind of feeling. Um, day in, day out, this is boring. Um, can't do anything exciting. They, for, they, cannot, they cannot live their lives. They're being hindered from living their life to the fullest. And this is this is causing um, major major issues. It's like it's <laughs> it's it's like prison. Okay, so therefore it is a nightmare. Okay, then you have the nine to the ten of swords. With the ten of swords, this is ruin. This is signifying somebody who possibly needs help. Okay, if you cannot shed, if you cannot shake this feeling of sadness okay and there's a lot of people right now who are experiencing emotional um emotional sensitivity okay and they don't understand it why these are just things that are purging that are making their way out to the surface and this is also represented by the sun the sun will put a light on anything that needs to be recognized and dealt with okay so the sun is making you recognize your frustration okay What's happening right now, now is a nightmare. You're kind of forced, you're kind of chained to be in the situation that you're at. It's making you really, really sad and you've got a slight touch of depression, but there really isn't anything that can be done. You just keep drudging through it. Um, like I said, it's, it's like a, um, it's got this overall gloom feeling and, and, I'm not sure if it has anything to do with the weather or being under the weather. Me personally, I'm a little under the weather. So I'm kind of getting that feeling like this person is overworked and overexerting themselves and it's gonna make you sick. Um, I know, <laughs> had to go home yesterday. Okay, so what we have here is the King of Swords. This could be an air sign. This is also communication. Um, hmm. you are sharing how you're feeling a lot of a lot of air energy so that has to do with thinking and thoughts not exactly um, how you're feeling and actually new beginnings in love but there isn't a lot of a love here I think everybody's distracted at the moment but you do have the princess of cups the princess of cups did come out and this is like childlike uh, innocence charm night na naiveness naivete uh, that's basically you need to play like a child maybe oh gotcha okay so 
basically you've been so distracted with the regular things that are going on in life you're picking up a double load and it's become like drudgery okay and what you need is a good time a good time you need to recoup by spending some intimate time with your love okay because you have the new beginnings here and the princess of cups which is which is a message of love too so you've been stuck in your mind there's a lot of mind energy here a lot of focus on the mind energy a lot of frustrations a lot of no nonsense business only carry on <laughs> kind of energy uh, it looks like you're missing even though you have a lot of compassion you are missing a little bit of passion here so maybe you need to um, spend a little more a little bit more intimate time with your partner and uh, get some more love in there even if one of you is incapacitated nothing's wrong with the little making out and cuddling or you know something kind holding each other or uh, holding hands or even just the physical body touch because right now what I'm feeling is a lot of people are incapacitated physically and there is nothing like putting your bare skin up against your partner's bare skin even if you are standing chest to chest a big hug just oh my god hugs are so wonderful especially when there's skin contact and you have that transference of energy and when it's with a loved one it it's like it's like they suck all your negatives from you and refill you with positive energy there's nothing like a hug from someone you love that's all I'm saying that's all I can say I'd love to get a full body hug from my baby every day keeps me uh, grounded so with the Virgo energy <clears throat> I recommend that everybody do their best to stay grounded because the energy is so scattered multiple projects we're working on and it feels like we're not getting anything done and we're overstressed and overworked it's fucking up with your health um, but you're carrying an extra burden at the time which makes it even harder okay uh, you're you're not allowing yourself to play uh, and also at the same time you have to acknowledge that you're feeling these things to your partner because this also represents a vulnerability to don't forget as well as hugging your partner you need to talk to them too okay because whatever they're going through they're they're alone while you're at work okay and they're stuck there and they have to wait till you come home you know because they're not supposed to be um, doing things they're supposed to be on complete bed rest okay so let them rest okay and hopefully <laughs> you're not too sick that you can allow them to do that and, oh my ears have been going off too I've been having ear popping since yesterday and the nausea i still have bitters in my mouth today and my ears have been popping especially the right one it's been causing a little bit of pain but it hasn't gone into my throat so it's just the um, overall pressure and i could feel the pressure at the uh, top back of my head where the sinuses uh go i've been feeling that pressure it hasn't been quite a headache but i did have a day where I was having like little tiny headaches so you'll find that you'll get these with ascension symptoms also nice okay so uh -oh. let's throw another one so we got the four of wands and this time it's not reversed okay so what this is saying is that you still have the manifestation portal uh oh wow they are flying flying cards look at that. holy cow we got all kinds of stuff coming out okay i think we'll have to stop here for a second because that's quite a bit and the spirit wants to tell us stuff what do we got here very very beautiful okay holy cow so what do we got we have the manifestation portal okay abundance and then this is the ten of pentacles which is 
also another card of abundance. Wow, and that, that came out right next to the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so you are protected. Something, the wheels turned, and it's turned in your favor. Wow, look at these three cards together, yeah? But it's all dependent on you, okay? It's, it all depends on you. So we've got the manifestation portal for abundance. We've got abundance, uh, protection, nurturing protection, financial. Your, uh, the universe is protecting you in love and finances all the way around. Um, also, whoever's around you is supporting you. Then you have the Wheel of Fortune, which is saying the next leg of this cycle has already begun for you, okay? You're at a crossroads. This is represented by the Two of Swords. You have nowhere to go, um, and you're not sure. You're not really sure what you're doing, but you're doing. <laughs> okay, then you have the card of strength. Remember how I was saying it looks like you're lacking a little... Um, compassion here you're not lacking in passion because you do have this 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 princess of cups which is also like the page of hearts page of cups whatever you want to call it it's a message of love and the uh new beginnings or reuniting in love with the ace of hearts okay so you need to Have the strength to carry on along the chariot along with the strength is you're definitely determined you have the strength to an ability to carry on and this this whole what you're doing helping taking care of this other person is turning the wheel and it's it's bringing you to the beginning of a new cycle this is what the new beginnings and love is representing okay this person is going to see what you're made of you're gonna see what you're made of and here we go the knight of pentacles a message about money okay so you you could be receiving a message about money this could also be a taurus taurus virgo capricorn taurus virgo capricorn This is what you've been waiting for, but you've got to be faithful. Um, you've got a couple of money cards. You've got that abundance protection. So this looks to me like you're working hard and you're helping this person. You're still trying to maintain your own business or job, whatever you're doing. And it's going to be coming to fruition. This period of frustration is going to stop. Just keep on your path. I realize it's drudgery, it's like Groundhog Day, the same thing keeps happening over and over again. You know, the song, um, every day is exactly the same comes to mind, but it seems like every day is, uh, is laden with burden at the moment, okay? You have the courage and the determination to make it through this. Just know that everything is temporary, including feelings. So if you're feeling down, depressed, scattered, um, like you can't get your shit together this is a temporary phase you're not going to feel like this forever but if you have difficulties getting through it you do need you might need to get professional help you know the first <laughs> the first professional i go to is my best friend <laughs> me that help, that helps solve everything okay oh, dang this scared the crap out of me okay Knight of Swords, communication coming in fast. So you have the Knight of Swords and the King of Swords. So this is some kind of authority, some kind, somebody who knows the rules, somebody who plays the games, intelligent, authoritative figure. King of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So this person, I feel like this person is received, who's receiving help from you is going to be of benefit financially to you. Um, this here is a communication. Maybe they communicated to you that they're frustrated 
and this is like a nightmare to them because they're laid up and that's like prison okay <laughs> that's like prison it sucks it sucks when you can't do anything for yourself it really does okay so this could have also been communication of them being frustrated like how I was saying um, they might project it onto you so this could represent because because the swords usually represents an air sign the king of swords is usually an Aquarius but this is like rapid communication it, it just these two together Wow so we got nine ten knight and king of swords okay we also had the moon we have the moon and the sun so this king of swords whoever your partner is there's some things that he was dwelling on that came up to the surface okay whenever you have the moon that's the unconscious secrets things that still need to be resolved um, some kind of baggage of sorts okay and look at the uh, look at the face on the Sun he looks irritated doesn't he <laughs> so I feel like even though this is the moon, weird, yeah, it's the moon card, but there is the sun on top of it. And it's like the alter ego, <laughs> the alter ego moon, okay? It's angry. There's some angry subconscious things coming out, and that's the uh, ruin, the frustration, and the, and the nightmare here. Um, so this person, your partner, expressed their frustration, <laughs> and they took it out on you the wrong way. Um, <laughs> There was some light shed on their feelings. Um, either they recognized how they felt or they expressed it to you, which is what these communication cards are. You got two nights, so that's communication for sure. So they communicated to you and expressed to you all their garbage. They laid it out on the table. Um, like how I was saying, there's a, a lack of hearts card. So when they communicated this to you, there may have been a lack of uh, compassion. And it made you want to be the queen of swords and be like, no, shut the fuck up. And, you know, fuck you. But that's not who you are. Okay. And it was not necessary because you understand what's going on. You, uh, <laughs> even though they didn't understand their behavior and it came out communication this way. Um, you completely understand and you've kind of um, paired back some of the things that you were doing at work or tried to organize yourself better um, and put a little more focus on the home this person's feeling neglected whoever your partner is that's incapac incapacitated they're feeling neglected and you've kind of been just going on doing what you got to do and picking up the additional tasks of taking care of them um but you can't you can't do everything okay you can only do so much and, and yet again i have to stress this is all temporary okay whatever is going their incapacitation your scatteredness your inability to get your shit together this is all temporary okay so what's missing here is play and compassion okay but don't worry we're gonna get to a time where you're gonna get to play all right be brave be brave think with your heart act with your heart okay I know you're not sure what to do you're at a crossroads you need to make some decisions but really you can't your hands are tied <laughs> you have to just go you have to just go you have to just move Let's pull a couple of if there's any other advice here since we're lacking in compassion okay there isn't gonna be a lot of action <laughs> the knight of wands came out reversed knight of wands is, is knights are always a message it's a the wands are referring to the fire signs aries leo sagittarius and this usually means fast action but this is very this is slow it's not slowly but surely but it's either the either 
you're not moving very fast. That's what it is. You're usually a person of action, but along with the Two of Swords, or the Two of Swords go. Oh, here we go. Along with the Two of Swords, this represents um, lack of action, okay? And indecision and lack of action because you're kind of waiting, you're giving it time. So I feel like whatever's going on, um, maybe you're giving it time because you are getting sick or you're just completely exhausted. Um, you're feeling drained as if you're drained by the sun, okay? And then you're also getting hit by these uh, by what the moon is bringing out. Yep, there it is. <laughs> somebody's uh, five of pentacles. Somebody's being left out in the cold. So this person who you're taking care of is grumbling about you putting too much focus on yourself. Okay, so they're trying to play the victim. No, 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 no. We don't play that shit. Okay, but you're the magician. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta keep going. Holy cow. Wow, okay, and, and then you got the Queen of Swords. You were Queen of Swords about that, adamant about that. I can't stay home with you and take care of you all day. You're not a baby. Here's something to drink. Here's some food. I'll see you after work because this is what I have to do, okay? That's basically what that's saying. But yeah, they're feel, feeling neglected. That's why they snapped at you. Very understandable. Completely understandable, okay? Okay, so you know what? I'm going to put these back. We're going to put these back and we're going to draw some additional parts from my original deck. Because these are, I'm limited on table space. <laughs> okay. And I'll shuffle those later. Okay, but this one, I need to shuffle now. up my cards. I think I need a new couple of decks. Yes, I said couple of decks. <laughs> All right, let's pull another couple of cards. What should we do? Looking forward to ascending a little, a little bit more when people are feeling better. Okay. There's hope, guys. There's hope. Don't give up hope. This is temporary. You can handle this. You're a fucking warrior, okay? You got this. You can.